Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode of You've Got Issues. I'm your host, Iria Aysen, and this is the show where you send in your questions. And with the help of my guests, we give you tips and advice. Remember, we're not experts, but a problem shared is a problem halved. Today we're going to be talking about mental health issues. And I have two very seasoned professionals here with me today that are going to be helping us tackle some of these questions. First, I have with me behavioral analyst, Tokes Bakare, who has had a wealth of of experience in this area. She's had a decade of experience. She also owns Tokes.com, asktokes.com. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so our second guest today is the founder of Mentally Aware Nigeria Initiative. Welcome to the show, Victor Thank you. Ugo. Thank you. Okay, so let's take our first question from the board. Hi, Idia. My friend is depressed, but the problem is she's trying so hard to hide it due to the stigma prevalent in the society about mental health. What should I do to help her as I am not happy seeing her in such a state? Okay, so I know you guys know that this whole depression thing, there's sort of this stigma around it where a Nigerian will tell you, oh please, like, why are you trying to feel posh? Why are you trying to act like you're depressed? Get over it. Like, you know, we were even talking earlier, like, oh, just go to the mirror and say, I'm fine, I'm fine. And they think that's enough and that's okay. So what would you advise this person to do about her friend? Um, I think that... It's, it's really difficult to find a lending ear um, for the person who's going through the depression. Um, but also as a friend, it's very difficult to know how to support your friends because they are not always forthcoming with their symptoms and with how, how much they're really struggling. Yeah. Um, so they don't always let you even be the support for them. Um, so I, that, that's always going to be a barrier. So I would say that for the friend, what she should try to do is learn how to be a good listener because she needs to not be worried about helping her cure her friend or helping her friend get out of her depression because that's not really her job. Her job is really just to be someone that can that can be list, that she can listen to, yeah. um, and give her the space um, to be able to talk and and open up. Just be available. Yeah. Just be available so that whenever she's ready to talk, yeah. then you know you You're can be there. there when she wants to talk. I think that I think that's that's, basically. that's probably the hardest thing for for friends is when you see someone going through that, um, and you want to support them but you don't know how. Um, do you and think, you don't have the do you think the person would be crossing a line by maybe contacting their family or I don't know somebody maybe in a more authoritative position in their lives and saying look I've noticed that this person's going through this yeah. what should I do yeah. is that crossing a line or is that fine I think so I think I think you have to know the person so um, for some people they actually need you know some like a mother to come and say right sit down and this is what we're going to do so some people actually need that push but if you know your friend very well, um, you might you will know if you're crossing a line. Yeah, true. You know, so um, in most cases, I would say don't run off to you know tell someone else because they're already finding it very difficult as it is to own up to the to, fact that exactly, um, and then they might feel embarrassed and a lot of shame to know that oh so you've been talking about this behind my back with you know my family and so that can now just cause distrust. Really, exactly distrust between yeah. you yeah. So you definitely want to build more of a of a trust um, circle with that with that friend, so that they they can come to you. Um, yeah. Guys, so you've heard from our um, experts here on the show. Um, I honestly, I'm learning a lot today because what I would usually do is just reach out to someone that I know maybe is closer to the person or in a in a higher position in their lives or whatever, and just say, you know, I'm noticing this and that because I don't want to be the one that saw signs yeah. and didn't say anything, and then something extreme happens, and then I feel sorry. But you know, like they've said, sometimes your friend just needs a listening ear and someone that they can trust and count on to just be there. Sometimes your position is not to take action. It may to just it may be to just listen to that person. So you you might want to just think about your relationship with the person and the kind of person that you're dealing with before taking any action. But thank you guys so much for those questions and thank you guys for being here today. I hope you'll come back on the show. Thank you to Urban Living for this amazing location and to you guys back home for watching. We'll be here same time, same place next week on You've Got Issues. <laughs>